Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. And I've been thinking off camera about what to do about Sweden, and I know this keeps coming up. I actually think I'm coming to a point where I don't want to fight with Sweden. It's too soon. They have too strong of an alliance. I know we talk about this all the time. They're just too strong. They have too many allies, uh, including one of our allies, and we're just not in a position to take them. So, it, plus, in a game like this, it's better to gobble up the little guys and just grow until you have critical mass. And then once you have critical mass, then you take it to the big people because they're considerably, uh, at that point, they will be weaker than us. Even if Sweden continues expanding, we have consistently gotten more men, more levies, more everything. It's just that they have these alliances. So some point in the future, Sweden will be in a position of vulnerability and we will capitalize on that. The fear, and it's a reasonable fear, the fear is that Sweden will do the same to us. So that like we're going to go through succession. We're going to be weak after succession. We're going to lose some of our levies, things like that, because our vassals won't like us as much. And Sweden might decide to take a fight in that moment. Other than that, the, I like, and the only way we can really bulletproof ourselves to that is forming strong alliances, which during succession are going to be kind of, kind of uh, messed up anyway. So. I don't really know what to do. And at this point, I want to marry. I know we, we, again, we looked at this previously and we couldn't really figure things out. I want alliances and we don't have them. So Shayland, we're going to make this happen. You have a daughter who's eight. Can't really marry my son to your eight-year-old daughter because my sons need to be producing children. In fact, don't we have an unmarried son? I should have taken care of this a long time ago. You were married. You're married. You're unmarried. Congratulations, son, I want you to make babies. You're Norse and a Satru. Where are you from? Of Skara. Potential alliance with the chiefdom of Skara, which is a tiny little part of Vaster Gotland. That's actually bad for us because we probably would like to eat Vaster Gotland, although they might be a prime candidate for Sweden to take over at some point. And if we ally them, we could uh, really hurt Sweden during a uh, defensive war of our ally, although it's a vassal and they would be going to war with the actual like leader of that. Well, what other alliances do we have? I mean, these are all young enough that they can produce children. That looks like a swastika and I'm not thrilled about that. Varm Varmaland, where are you? Varmaland, I can't, I can't see. They. In Crusader Kings 3, they made these UI elements so big. I even scaled them back, I believe, in the uh, in the settings menu. I think I had scaled back the UI because it's just too freaking big. But I didn't want to make it too small. Because if we make it too small, then people like on mobile are not going to be able to see what's going on. I mean, not that mobile viewers are going to have an easy time with such a game like this anyway. Varmaland. Very loud vehicle out there. Varmaland. Lock that window. Okay. So you're here, which is part of Sweden. I would rather not ally you. Potential alliance to Lutetia. Okay. You're pretty small. We're not going to find, like, super powerful alliances. Vestfold. Vestfold is... Here? Here. So it's either part of our realm or it's right next door. It's part of our realm. It's just, uh, it would be an alliance to Chieftain Adar, which we really don't care about. He's already our vassal. Pyrdar Sari. Uh, I mean, we're going to want to attack you at some point as well. Uh, Skolovia. Sorry, I know this is probably not f fun to watch. In Prussia. Prussia is far enough away that we're probably not going to go to war with them. 1,400 men. It's not really a marriage with Prussia, though. It would be a marriage with Skolovia, which is a very small area. Okay, so 
Let's ally with our... With Skara, I think. Because she's young, she'll have a lot of child-producing years ahead of her. Thrifty clerk, arrogant, sadistic, and generous. Sorry, son, you're marrying a sadistic, crazy person. But we want you to be producing offspring, which is really the important thing here. So we want to do that. And uh, we'll check our daughters as well, see if we can find a potential marriage. Who's our youngest daughter? Didn't we marry our youngest daughter off? Sarah, someone or other? She's not, she's not listed here anymore. What happened to my daughter, Sarah? Countess Malmfred, my half-sister. No, I thought I had, uh, oh, plus four. There are four more children here. There she is. Sarah loves me, plus 86. She's afraid of me, though. Okay, so you're 25. You're of an appropriate age. Someone might be likely to marry you. We're looking for... Chiefdom, chiefdom, chiefdom. We're looking for something, preferably like a duke or a king. Duchy or kingdom. Peasant revolt? Absolutely not. Potential alliance with Hamdani. You uh, are very far away and of a different religion. That's not going to work for me. Hmm. In fact, there aren't really any Norse... You're Russian, but you are my religion. Those are claims. Those are not alliances. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. You're my faith as well. Chiefdom of Chernigov. Chiefdom of Chernigov. That sounds Russian. Chernigov. Oh, you're so tiny and so far away. These alliances don't benefit us really being that far away. And being chiefdoms. It's unfortunate. Um, and what I'm a little confused by is that like when I go in that menu to marry my daughter, for instance, marry my daughter off, it um it only shows certain people. And it confuses me because like I can it doesn't show everyone. So like let's say I wanted to marry Paul Janma here. I could go here, look for one of their children here. You have a sibling who's Algebever, he's married, it doesn't count. But, like, I noticed when I manually look in a kingdom or whatever, like, if I look here, I see many more possibilities than if I actually use that menu. So, like, here's this baby. I'm pretty sure I can arrange a betrothal between, yeah, my daughter and the baby, but the baby doesn't show up, even though it would provide me an alliance with the Jarldom. Why don't we do that? Um, I don't know if they'll accept she's so much older that by the time he reaches age, um, they will no longer want to be... She'll be so old that she won't be able to produce children for the marriage. So I don't know if they would even... They would accept. That's so odd. Medium chance of children? I don't see how that's possible. Because by the time he's of age, he'll be 16. She'll be 47. I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. It just seems unlikely that she would uh, produce children at that age. Regardless, it would get us an alliance with Jill or uh, Shayland or whatever. However you say your name. Sure. I mean, our daughters aren't really doing much for us anyway. Um, being unmarried and kept out of the loop. We, you know, at least they could be producing children for someone or something. Uh, which is, I know, terrible. We were talking about adding one of our children as a royal physician, but we already have one. So our steward is gone for some reason. So we need to replace our steward. Um, stewardship. We really have very lackluster people. Our son does want to be on a council, and he is not. Adar, what's your stewardship is eight. He's a terrible diplomat. I would love to replace him. He's going to die before too, too long. And we've been ignoring our vassals who want on the council because they're our children and they love us so much that it doesn't matter. But when succession comes, they're going to want on the council and they're going to be furious if they're not. Your son, vassal, and champion. We do have the right to imprison him, which we could do. Um, just to make succession that much easier because then we don't have to worry about this powerful guy, but we're going to make him our steward. I think he is acceptable. <sighs> I do wish you were better though. Um, do we have our marshal, uh, increasing control? We do. 
So I know another thing that, that I've mentioned that people um, will want is that they want people always want you to use keyboard shortcuts, but I really like playing a game 100% with my mouse. So I know that's going to frustrate some people, but you know, it is what it is. Once again, had to minimize Discord, otherwise I end up paying attention to Discord. So let's go to war. Who do we want to fight? Who do we want to fight? How are our men doing? 37, 25 of 4,000. We had 4,000 plus before and then it dipped for no explicable reason. Oh, we spent a bunch of prestige on men at arms. I do remember that. So our men are replenishing. Our men at arms are being replenished. That's why this is uh, not happening. Because I really thought I could sneak a war in here. You're allied to Jorvik and Jilland. So you lost some of your other alliances. They previously had about four alliances. Really? 2,000. So currently they could muster 2,300 men. It would be enough for them to come ravage our home. Oh, if we could just break the alliance they have with Jilland. We, we talked about this in a previous episode. It would be us alienating ourselves to our one major ally. How strong... Who did I marry to, Shayland? How strong are you? 1,800? I bet you would like to take a chunk out of Sweden. I would really like to go to war with Sweden. They are by far our biggest threat in the area. Hmm. Astrid, Jut, and Nut, Nut... Bjornsson. Yes, show me show me that marriage again. It is Astrid King Erickson. Astrid Bagsek Daughter Jut. That's not you. And Nut Bjornsson Afmunso. Yeah, I would like to see this person. The son of King Bjorn. Okay, so if I kill you. 13%, zero predicted agents. 13%, 28%. And we couldn't kill the king of Sweden because if we kill him, it'll it's his heir. So it would just be his heir keeping that relationship. We could kill... It's, it's your daughter, right? Yeah. We could kill this king of Jilland we would lose our alliance with them, which we don't want. Because it would pass to his heir. And his heir, it would be his sibling. And I don't think sibling marriages count. I think it's only children and, like, immediate family. Um, you know, and I know I've been examining Sweden a lot. And I know that people don't... It's not super entertaining to have that happen, but... It's pretty important. Well, we could try to murder this guy. 13%. It'll take eight years. Zero predicted agents. We're going to gain stress, which will bump us over the stress level again. We can get our guy to support our schemes, which should increase the chances very slightly. Oh, it already was. Oh, our spy master... It's a plus 10. If you were better, it would be more impactful, I think. You're my son? Do I have a better spy master? I do. My other vassal. So if I make this son my diplomat. Okay, okay. So let's swap Adar and this guy. So that's an improvement on both fronts. So that is just a flat out benefit for us. So now it should be plus 13 instead of plus 10. It's plus 11. Why? He has a 13. Minus 4 because... Uh, uh, okay. Well, we're going to try. You've been overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, what else is new? Check our scheme. See if we can bribe some people. Can be convinced. You're very powerful. Oh, it's his wife. His wife wants him dead. My goodness. Oh, the drama of the Middle Ages. Yes, bribe her. 31 plus 12 stress. I don't care. And 
Bjorn's daughter off Munso. We'll do that as well. 37 gold. Okay. Pass some time here. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on this and we're going to hope to kill. We're going to hope to kill Sweden a little bit. Great. Our marriage fired with Shayland. So that is just flat out benefit for us. Uh, pause the game. By the Norns. Petitioners from the realm. This is our stress event. We had this before. We're going to go riding because we are uh, athletic. We get this, this benefit. And it's just a flat out reduction in our stress. It is enough to put us back down a level, but... We're going to unfortunately get the acceptance of those people we bribed, and that's going to bump it back up. So that's not great. And we're going to wait for those people to respond and see what these percentages are. Oh, we have a call to war. I call you to honor your alliance. Who are you? You're Shayland. I literally allied them in, in a matter of like minutes. They responded with, hey, come to war with us. Calling you to honor our alliance in the East Gidish conquest of the chieftain of N Okay. Which is You're fighting Vaster Gotland. I was gonna ally them as well, possibly. I cannot see. Oh, it's not. Okay. So who's conquering you? East Gidish. So that sounds Irish to me. Join as a defender. Or he loses opinion of us because we declined a defensive call. So our allies would be Shayland and Rostock versus Skane and Ostergotland. I would like to see Ostergotland. I wish all these UI elements were not in my face at all times. So it looks like... Yeah, but how is that East Gidish? Okay, so... Part of Sweden, one of the vassals in Sweden is attacking and and Vastergotland is attacking Shayland over Nudong. I mean, we can help a little bit. It'll help weaken... Well, we don't want to weaken ourselves because we want to go to war with Sweden as soon as we get this plot to fire. We'll accept. Worst case scenario, again, we get some prisoners and things out of it. Uh, but we need to be really careful and watch who all comes to war. Garden raise. Let's uh, set our rally point. When it pops up with the raise all armies button, you would think it would put a rally point uh, thing as well. Let's go from the coast. It would be easier to get over there. So we'll put them in our capital. And we really wanted our men to replenish. They'll replenish while we're at war, but... Let's take a look at this war. So it was just declared. I'm surprised Sweden itself is not coming to war. Who else? Who is this? It's me. Rostock. Which you're um you're related to Jilland. Who are you? You're related to Jilland. It's the Bag Saxon guy, which is Jilland. Bag Sagson. I mean, I guess they could have multiple people of those last names. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go help out a little bit. We'll get some uh, some benefit out of this. Uh, has joined as an agent. Joined as an agent. Alliance formed with Tyke of Scara. Who who are you? Who did I ally you with? I don't remember. Excellent. Of Scara. What's wrong with your face, bro? Severely injured. So he got tore up. I don't know if you can really see his face. Uh, certainly not if you're on mobile, but he has some scarring on his face. Looks like they're heading to his capital straight away. See, this is why I hate alliances. He's just tired of people. Scara. Okay, so this guy is going to war with the overall, with his liege to try and uh, become independent. I mean, we can join. It doesn't really affect us that much. We were heading in that direction anyway. And uh, we were going to abandon this pretty quickly after after we, like, as soon as we can. Because we're going to try to ruin this alliance and, and kill what's-his-face. Marriage between my son, Adar, and Krista. Jarl Adar married Gija Christina of Skara. Yes. Because you needed a wife, I remember. You joined a war? Yeah, I did. Uh, let's take a look at our scheme. 
We have a 95% chance. Again, we have two years. I'm tempted to invite more people if we're able. We can't. Um, but I was worried that inviting people might put us, make us more likely to be discovered. Like the more agents you have, the more chance of a bad thing happening. I really don't know how the system works. So again, we have 95%, 95%. Last time we had this, it failed and blew up in our face, and I was furious, so I really am hoping we didn't just waste an enormous amount of stress on nothing. Anyway, let's, um, where do we want to go? Why don't we take, uh, Vaster Gotland first and end that guy's, uh, independence war pretty quickly? That will elevate our ally to be the holder of both of these and will probably benefit us long term. We won, oh, we won the war already, uh... Skara against Asborn Afribe. He was defeated. I'm confused. Chieftain Asbjorn is deposed. Who are you? Who who are you? Okay. I, I don't I don't really know. It says we won. I don't know how we won. It looks like that was the Vast Scotland War. Ended. I don't really understand why it ended. That's fine. We will send our men over to 1,500 men. We really don't want to take that fight necessarily. It is our defending guy's capital, so if he gets captured, that could be really bad for us. Let us land in Skein. That way we will wait to get unembarked so we don't get that penalty. And we'll wait. If they want to attack us, they'll have to ford across, which will give us a bonus. The, the renewed jihad. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. In response, His Magnificence Caliph uh, al-Mutaz has de declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al-Islam must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Muj Muj Mujahideen in for the upcoming struggle. Sorry, sometimes reading is just beyond me and like... But anyway, this could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. Yeah, this allows them to make ho holy wars, I believe. Uh, Muslim faiths now have access to jihads, which is, you know, of course, the holy war. Interesting. Tear protect us. Yes. Our gods protect us. Oh... From, oh, from the heathens all around the world trying to, oh, ruin our, our Asat true faith. Okay, we're going to wait for this disembark to go away. We're going to let them raid. Hopefully they don't capture the commander. Longhouses constructed in the dens. We don't have enough prestige to build anything else, so we're going to let that go for now. Looks like they're going to attach their army to us, which is just gravy. We're going to wait for that. How much longer? Four days, so let's begin our advance. We really don't want them to capture their king, and we would really like to get there before that siege ends. They already successfully sieged. Hopefully they did not capture his leader. That would be really bad for us. Uh, so we will re-siege his province. Actually, we won't. Let his people do that if they want. We're going to go harass Skein. We're going to wait for that, that plot to fire. Scheme power, Bjorn's intrigue, scheme resistance. 35% chance of progressing each month based on its power and resistance. I see. So because his guy is so good, there's a smaller chance. We only have a 35% chance of advancing, so it could take many years for that to fire. We will almost certainly be finished with the war by then. We unlocked a new stewardship perk. This guy is already sieging there, so if we help him... He is the one who will get the prisoners and stuff, so we don't really care to do that. So let's head over to... Who else is at war? Is it just you? You, you should got to expect a bad war. Did you not see his alliances? I'm a very big ally. In fact, I think we have the most men of any nation in the area. Uh, Chieftain Tor, who are you? Sweden has been insulted by my crappy diplomat. Which is funny because he's no longer my diplomat. He's my spymaster. Insulted me. He had the audacity to name me a rattling knave in front of my court. I demand satisfaction. I thought this event was diplomat related. But whatever. Pay King Bjorn. Lose some prestige. He'll like us more. Otter will like me more because he's grateful that we covered up for him. 
He's already lost 40 opinion of my vassal. I don't really care about that. Uh, Otter will plead for your forgiveness. Otter will like me less because we forced him to whatever. Uh, and then uh, we could just laugh it up and Otter will like us more and King Bjorn will lose another 30. Uh, another 30 opinion of me. Yeah, I don't really care if you like me there, Sweden. I don't know who you think you are. Oh, negative 24. Oh, he doesn't like me. Incompetent tax collection. <sighs> As a result of... Uh, oh, county corruption. Low control in Moray. That's not... That's not my province. Why are my vassals not managing you appropriately? Oh, I do hold this? What? Why do I hold Moray? I thought we gave this stuff away. Didn't we put our son in front of the duchy here? Who holds this duchy? I do. I thought I gave this one away. Do I have too many duchies? Where am, show me one of my, my vassals. You. How do you feel about me? Do I have too many duchies? No. Wait a minute. I saw the word duchy. Receive duchy. I thought we gave this away. This is the problem with me only playing this game like twice a week is that I forget everything. Um, we, we would like to give this away. Did we ever capture that holy site, by the way? I don't remember. Holy sites? No. It's slightly out of our... <laughs> very slightly out of our, our kingdom here. All right. Well, we should probably put some marshal on that. Let's uh, check where are you currently... Increasing county control. Yeah, but where? In Gualdela? Uh-huh. Well, you're partway through, so what's the control? 40? That's our vassals area. I want you to control my area. Um, increase control in my direct holdings more than I want you to do so in my vassals holdings. Anyway, we're going to go up to Vaster Gotland. You're sieging, you idiot. Why would you stop here? Clearly, I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, what are you thinking? We want to pursue them if we're able. They moved into the forest where they will have a better defensive position. They're defending in a taiga and they have higher quality troops than us. Trading outpost constructed in Agdeside. So this is a less favorable attack, but we're still going to win. We outnumber them nearly three to one. Great. Uh, I saw a message about someone being wounded. I didn't take note of who it was. I wish it would pop up over here. Victory, victory. It doesn't say anything about who was wounded in this. So this is irrelevant. New perks. Yes, that's right. Um, toe the line. Vassals are less likely to join independence factions. None of them were going to do that anyway. We're a very good ruler at the moment. Heirs in line to inherit titles. For multiple titles. It's possible he would inherit them on his own. We could possibly speed that up through some, some shadiness. Uh, we don't care about any of this. Powerful vassal demands. Yeah, I don't really care. You like me already. We're in line to inherit titles in case our children die. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's head to Ostergotland. Maybe we can capture their uh, ruler. We're going to take attrition. I really wish I understood the attrition system. I thought it was based on supplies. But I was watching um, my previous footage a little bit. And what I saw was that... Sarah Av Agder. That's my daughter. Oh, that's that boy came of age, so they married. Congratulations. Sarah, you're my favorite. I really like... Are you redhead? I can't really tell if you're a redhead. I like redheads. I'm a, I'm a fan. I just think that uh, redheaded ladies are so much cuter than, than brunettes and blondes. So, lovely daughter there. Uh, incompetent tax collection. Great. We removed that. Uh, my wife... Preached some unorthodox doctrine, and they were married. Yes, Sarah, my youngest, uh, love lovely children. We have so many children; they're all so darling. Uh, looks like the Allied army is going to get to their holdings first. We're holding here because we were hoping to resupply. We're not resupplying. Why am I losing supplies? I thought once I captured a territory, I would gradually regain supplies from the neighboring area. But we're not. We're losing supplies every month. Let's go back to our allies thing and see if we can resupply in their in their uh, land. 
No, we're losing supplies. Is it really my own territory that I have to go to? I really thought it was friendly territory. Let's let this tick a month. Your acquaintance Astrid died. I had a woman in my dungeon. Prisoners taken in my siege. Okay, we should uh, check on that. I didn't notice that. So I think we had someone die in our, our prison that we could have ransomed. Grimmer Ulfing, who are you? Your prisoner. I wish it would tell you who, like, oh, heir, son and heir of so-and-so. Kraka Ulfing. So they're all from the same people. Who are you? 50 gold of kinda. Okay, well. Why don't we do the children, release the children first? Who who are you to him, Alfing? Are you the like leader? Who's your parents? Alfing. Who who controls uh Ostergotland? No. So who the hell are you? Okay, whatever. We'll ransom them. Let's check. Are we holding them? Do we get prisoner stuff? We have a captured heir. I don't know who it is, though. Captured heir. Not you. Maybe it's... Skein? Bjorn Arnfatsen. No, none of you are in jail. Who's heir? Liege. Hjalmar. Okay, this is his heir. So we're going to hang on to the air. And who are you? Hjalmar Rickleferson. So you're not his heir. So we can get rid of you. Ransom the child. They're taking a fight over here. We're going to wait for this to tick. Nope, we lost supplies. I'm in friendly territory. Why am I not restocking from my friendly territory? Okay, well we need to get home in that case. Uh, so head on back. That's really upsetting. I thought once you captured... I do not understand the supply system at all or why we would get attrition when we move through certain tiles. I thought it was connected to our supplies, but I actually have no idea, and it's super frustrating to not have any idea. So we returned someone, which uh, did not cause us to lose any war score. Although we did lose some war score, but it wasn't from... It was from prisoners? How was that his heir? It didn't show that as an heir. Whatever. Whatever, what do I care? It shows this kid as an heir. But we're not getting war score for that heir. So I, I really don't know. So we'll just ransom the kid. You guys need to go home and resupply. I wish I understood the supply system. I'm. It's. It. We talked about it before. Whenever I don't understand a game mechanic, I get super tilted. Because like... You can't afford. We'll hold on to you for now. Um, because, like, I want to play a game, and I feel like it's the game's responsibility to explain things to you, and when they don't, it's super frustrating. My agent Astrid approaches me with a bunch of papers clutched in her hand. I found old architectural papers of the Unlanded's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. What do you mean, Unlanded? It keeps saying that occasionally unlanded they're clearly landed they control it's the son of freaking the liege oh maybe he doesn't have a direct holding maybe he is just unlanded because he's the heir and he hasn't uh, uh, obtained anything yet um we could use the tunnel which would gain progress or we gain hidden nooks and crannies which make it Oh, I see. So we can either take advantage of it or say, okay, well, we want this now, which will make it harder to scheme against us. No, we will use the tunnel. So that seems like a favorable event. Please don't be starving to death, men. I have too many men we're afraid of losing. Looks like our allies can handle the war from here anyway, but we didn't really get to make as much, get as much prestige and stuff out of this as we would have liked. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired. And the duck was gifted to nut alone. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appetit. So we, um... 
See, and this is bizarre because we get penalties for being honest, but we get a benefit because we took the cowardly way of killing him. But we have a 95% chance. I'm going to be real mad if we get 5%. Bon appetit, nut. Poison did its job. He is no more. It also seems that none of my agents are under suspicion, which means no one can trace the poison back to me. That is excellent news. So are you resupplying? Why are you still losing supplies? You're in my land. Is it? Are we over the supply limit? Oh, I should have considered that. Oh, I'm so stupid. Split in half. You, go over here. See if that changes it. Did it change anything? In serving as your chancellor, I've learned about etiquette. I'm willing to tutor you. 38% uh, chance we get plus two to diplomacy. 61% that he advises me of... What? Okay, 38% chance we get a permanent increase to di diplomacy by two. 61% chance we get a temporary increase of plus three. And he gets a favor on us. I would rather have the prestige because we're about to declare a war and we need prestige to take a duchy. And you love me so much that the negative influence isn't going to matter, the negative opinion. But also, diplomacy doesn't matter that much to me at the moment. So many of my vassals are my children that love me, so I don't need to worry too, too much about diplomacy. So I'll be fine, child. Thank you, though. So we're still getting negatives. Okay, so you are resupplying. So it's possible that we could have resupplied in previously held territory. It's just that we were also over the supply limit, which canceled that out and caused us to lose. So that's um, unfortunate. I really wish this was a little bit better explained. I'm sure there's probably a pop-up and I'm just an idiot and didn't know uh, about it. We could take concubines. And we're not going to take... Oh, she's quick and attractive. That would have been great, you know, 20 years ago when we were making babies. But at the moment, there's really no reason for us to do this. Um, because our children are... We're not going to have children, so they're probably not going to inherit that. Because these are both good traits. And they're congenital, which means they get passed on to children. However, that's, that's not going to fly for now. So... Sweden is no longer allied with Jilland, which makes them extremely weak. Attackers, allies, military. They have 3,000? What is this? Special soldiers are not like regular armies. Special soldiers can be gained through events. Oh, God. So they just get free. They got 3,000 free soldiers. So the perfect play I made to... To isolate Sweden and prepare for war is cut in half because some little dinky... Who the hell is Jorvik? So Jorvik, this little province, got 3,000 men for free. God... Fu Alright, well, we're about to win this war. We're at 40 minutes. God, please end the war. What are you guys doing over here? Why haven't you sieged this capital? Um... Let's ransom this other person. They should have recouped some gold by now. 17. Come on, man. Come on. Please stop trying to take the fight and just siege. Okay, we won. We probably got a little prestige out of it. 59 prestige. Not very much. Um, we contributed 79%. That's so much. Uh, and that guy likes us a lot more, which makes perfect sense. God, they just had to pick up 3,000... Just for free, just because of some event. Oh, here's 3,000. Here's here's the amount of men that countries double your size don't even have. Just for free. Just, you know, whatever. I wonder if the game knew that. I wonder if the game knew I killed Sweden, like their alliance, and was like going to move in on them. And the game was like, nah, we need to balance that. So we're going to give this ally some extra men. That seems pretty convoluted. And maybe it's just my paranoia. Oh, good. Fucking Sweden is expanding in this direction as well. You know what? We're going to war with Sweden. Like, I'm sick of this nonsense. Between them and their alliances, they have currently... God, they have three... Fuck. Uh, they have about 4,000 men between them. 
but we have about 4,000 men on our own, plus Shayland has 1,600, plus Jilland has 2,000, plus uh, Vaster Gotland, I guess that guy probably could help a little bit as well. And you can see Sweden expanded in the time we were dealing with another war. They've already taken up a lot of this coast. Tired of Sweden? Tired of their, their nonsense? We really need to do something about that. For now, disband our men. Stand down. Stand down. Sweden, how many children do you have? You have so many children. How many of them are married, though? You're married. Go, go. Okay, you're married. You're married. You're married. You're not married. You're married. You're not married. You're not married. So they have children that they could possibly marry off for additional alliances. So I do think it's in our best interest to strike now. Sweden is just like, this is ridiculous. Look at Sweden. This is crazy to me. They're in, they're in Europe. I think they have a holding. They're down here. That's not Sweden, but this is Sweden. Just tired of Sweden? They're too big. They're too big. You have to go. I'm sick of your face. Sick of looking at you, Erickson. Eric Gerson. All right. Well, we're going to call the episode here. So it was a long one. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. I will say that despite the fact that this series is not doing very well, I'm getting like five views uh, on any given episode in like the first 24 hours. Despite that, the watch time has been fantastic. So basically, even though only like three or four of you are actually watching this video, you're watching it all the way through, which I really, really appreciate. Normally, my videos are the other way. There's like, you know, 40, 50, 1,000 people who watch it, but the average watch time is like, you know, four minutes. On Crusader King, the average watch time is like 26 minutes, which means most of you are watching the whole episode. So... Everybody, really thanks for that. That tells me that the video is maybe not getting out there for other people to view, but the people who are finding it are enjoying the content. So thanks for watching. I appreciate those of you who made it this far in the episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see here. And uh, yeah, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more Crusader Kings 3 in the near future. See you next time.